بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to Al-Afaq International School Jeddah Virtual Learning Classroom With you Ms. Dina Badawi, Physics Teacher for Grade 8 Our lesson is talking about Electric charges and static electricity At first you have to listen to the to know the instructions which is listen to the lessons explanations open your textbook page 159 till page 163 check your answers give a star to each correct answer our standards are ms forces and interactions bs 2 b types of interactions our objectives are explain how electric charges and fields interact describe how static electricity builds up and transfers. Okay, let's start. We have to know that everything around us is made of matter. And the basic unit of any matter or the, sm the smallest unit of any matter is the atom. The atom is itself formed of tiny particles that are, uh, one of them has positive charge, which is the proton. Another one has negative charge, which is the electron. And another one, has no charge, which is the neutrons. As we are talking about electrons and protons, electrons carrying negative charge, while protons carry positive charge. Since both of them have different charges, positive and negative, so they will attract each others. Attract each others. They will pull together. They will be pulled. Each one will pull the other toward it. So there is force of attraction but the force that acts between protons and protons which are both positive both positive charges they will repel each others they will push each others away they will repel each others but what about electrons and electrons also they will repel each others they will push each others against each others so you have to know if the charges are the same positive and positive, or negative and negative, they will repel each others, and push away each others. Why? If the charges are different, like positive and negative, they will attract each others. They will attract each others. You have also to know that most atoms or most objects around us, of course, object is a matter, is made of matter, which, which has its basic unit atom. Most objects around us has what has no overall charge. Most of them, their positive protons equal to their negative pro uh, electrons. That's why they have no overall charge. They are neutral. So they will not attract anything toward them or repel anything away from them unless they remain neutral, unless they remain, uh, have no overall charge. But what about if one of them will be charged, will be positive or will be negative? Of course, this object that's charged will start to attract the opposite charge to it or repel the same charge of it. So we have to know that the interaction between electric charges, this is called electricity. So you have to know what's the meaning of electricity. Electricity means the interaction, interaction between electric charges. This attraction or repulsion between the electric charges, this is called electricity. This is called what? Electricity. But what about the force of attraction itself or the force of repulsion itself? The force between charged objects. When I say the force, this means electric force. The force between the charged objects. Of course, we know that the force is push or pull. So it's either repulsion or attraction, yes? So the force between the charged objects is called electric force. So in this page, we have to know important, two important definitions that the charges, that, uh, that the interaction between electric charges, this is called what? This is called what, girls? Hmm? Electric force. The interaction. The interaction. Uh, electricity. electricity. Excellent. What about the force between charged objects? This is called? Uh, the electric force. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's make it a quick exercise about this. 
this figure on each sphere right if it has positive or negative charge it can be positive or negative we can write what we want compare your answer with the group can you tell for sure which spheres are positively charged and which are negatively charged what conclusions can you draw okay let's stop here we have these two charges that this this sign means repel or attract hmm. Means what? The, the, first, the first picture, they repel because they push away from each other. Excellent. This means repel. The first okay. So, yeah. what can I put here in these spheres? Two. Miss, it can uh, be either part. positive or negative. Excellent. Right? Yeah, but I can put two same or two different charges? No, same. Same charges. Excellent. So, I can put yeah. uh, both of them positive and positive or negative. And negative. Let's put positive and positive here. Okay, girls? Yeah. Yes. What about this? Another one, please. Another student. Hmm. What about this? Batul. Huh? What can I put here in these blue spheres? Both the, the two arrows repel or attract, yes. as you see. They are away from yes. each yes. other. This means what? They... Miss uh, the screen is the away. The, Miss, yeah, it's not showing the screen. The screen is not shown. I'm sorry. I mm -hmm. will show it again. Okay. Is it clear now? Yeah, it's repel. Yes, both of them. This means repel. Excellent. This means repel. What? What can I put here? Same charges or opposite charges that repel each Same other? Same charges. Same charges. Same charges. And positive and positive or negative and negative. If we put in the red spheres positive and positive, we will put here negative and negative. Now, what about Huayda? Can you share with me, please? Uh, yes, yes. In these two spheres, we have one red and one blue, and the Different. two arrows attract each other. They come close to each other. They pull each other. So what can I put here? The same charges the or opposite charges? Opposite. Excellent. So positive and negative. See, girls, yeah. when I put positive and negative, they will attract each other. Opposite charges attract each other. Uh, same charges repel each other. Is this point clear? Yeah. Yes, it's right here. Okay. okay. Then we'll talk about Another definition that is very important. If I have electric charges, you have to know that the region, the region around the charged object is called the electric field. The region itself, the region itself. Not, I'm not talking now about the force, which is the electric force, or the interaction, which is the electricity. I'm talking about the region, the area, around the charged object or around the charge itself. This is called what? Electric field, you have to know. An electric field is a region around the charged object where the object's electric force is exerted on other charged objects, like this. Can you see this page? This is clear. Okay. I have here positive charge and here negative charge. You see the area or the region around the charge, this is called what? Electric field. In this electric field, in this electric field, it has the ability to exert a force on other charged objects, okay? In this electric field, which is the, elect which is the region around the charged objects, where the object's electric force is exerted. All of this region, we have to need electric force. So the electric force will not arise just from uh, the center of the charged object. No, it will also arise from the region around it. So as we come closer to the center of the charged object or the charge itself, as we come closer to the center, the electric force will be high, will be increased. As we go away from the center, of the charged object, the electric force will decrease. But all this region is called what? Electric field. All this region is called what, girls? Electric, electric field. field. Electric field. Okay. We can represent this field. Of course, this field is invisible. Can we see the electric field? Yes. 
Of course no, not. No. It's invisible. We can just imagine it as imaginary lines. We can draw it as imaginary lines. You can use field lines to represent it like this. A field line shows the force that would be exerted. Okay? It's showing the force that would be exerted. For example, positive charges are repelled by positive charge. If there is a positive charge here, and there is positive charge there, so they will be repelled like this. I will draw field lines like this. Now what about if I have positive charge? It will be attracted toward the negative charge, positive charge here and negative charge here. So there will be a force of attraction. All these fields will have this force of attraction, not only the center. The whole field will have the force of attraction of the negative toward the positive, okay? Or positive toward the negative, okay? That scientists also say that single charges, if I have just single charge, it will, this will be represented by straight line fields, straight field lines like this, okay? If I have only single charge, okay? Now, what about if I have multiple charges? If I have multiple charges, there will be more complicated field lines, more complicated field lines. So what is the meaning of electric field? Electric field is the region around the charged object. Uh, is the region around the charged object, where the object electric force is exerted on other objects. It's invisible. I can represent it by imaginary line. If I has only one, uh, uh, one charge, <coughs> single charge, have a straight field line, straight field line, while multiple charge have, has, uh, have complicated field lines. Okay, girls, is this clear until now? Yeah. yeah. Let's try to answer these questions, okay? Answer the following questions. Identify which charge is positive and which charge is negative. We'll put here, he's, he's talking about a positive charge that repels, so I will put here positive. And a negative charge that will attract, so I will put here negative, okay? I will put here negative, is it okay? The boxes yeah. on the electric field are of the same sizes. How many field lines are inside the white box? Can you enumerate um, them? Can you count them? Look, girls, here is the white line. The white line like this. How many field lines here? Two. 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 And while, how many in here in the blue one? One. Four. Yeah. Three. Four. It's four. four, but if we take half one from here and half one from here, it will be five. Okay? Yeah. What is the relationship between the number of field lines in an area and the strength of the electric force? If the field lines are multiple field lines, more field lines, okay, we put here positive and put here negative because positive is attracted to negative positive attracted to negative why positive is repelled from the positive positive and positive why positive and negative negative and negative and so on okay girls now, what about this question what is the relationship between the number of field lines in an area and the strength of the electric force if the what do you expect uh, if the number lines are few number of field lines are few the strength is high or low? It's, it's low. The it's electric force is low. What about if I increase the number of the field lines? This means the attraction force. Of course, the attraction force increases. So the force yeah. of, uh, stronger, there will be stronger electric force. So the relationship is multiple lines means stronger force, electric force. Multiple lines means stronger electric force. Okay, girls, is this clear until now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this let's is answer good. this question. Now I know that the way electric charge interact depends on two things. Hmm. Depends on what? Whether the charges are the same Positive or, or negative. different. The yeah, way the same or different. Here, here I'm talking about the way 
the electric charges interact, the way of interaction means attraction or repulsion. Yeah. This depends on what? On the type of the charge. Oh, yeah. Whether they are the same charge, positive, positive, or negative, negative, or whether they are opposite charges, positive, negative. Okay? So if they are positive and positive, what will happen, Sara Ahmed? Hmm. Positive charge with positive charge. What will happen? Attract or repel? Repel. Repel. Excellent. Uh, what about Majdurin? What about negative and negative? Attract or repel? Hmm. The same charges. <laughs> negative and negative. Attract or repel? Sara Nasr. Negative and negative. Yes. Negative and negative, if the charges are negative, repel. negative. repel, excellent. What about is if positive and negative, Huwaida, what about if they are positive and negative? They will uh, different. At, they are different, yes. They will attract or they repel each other. They will attract. Excellent. So, Majdunin, if the charges are the same, they will attract each other or repel each other? Hmm. Okay, you are not. Yes, I forgot that I was mute. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, they will attract or they will repel? Repel. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, let's pass to the next part of our lesson. We said that most objects or most atoms have no overall charge. They are neutral. Their positive charges equal to their negative charges, the positive charges equal to the negative charges, yes? Yes, but what about if I will get this no overall charged particle or object, like the balloon? The balloon itself, its positive protons of the atoms equal to its negative electrons of its atoms, positive equal to the negative, so it has no overall charge, yes? What about, can I build a charge on this object? Yes. Yes, I can build it. I can build a charge by several methods. By several methods. The first method is by rubbing or by friction. By rubbing or by friction. If I will bring a balloon, and I will show you a video now. If I will bring a balloon and try to rub it in my sleeves, at first, before I, before I start dropping, the overall charge of the balloon is positive, negative, or no overall charge? Mm. No overall charge. Excellent. It's neutral. Now, what about my sleeves? Mm. Positive, negative, or neutral? Uh, it's the same. Uh, no, the same neutral no. also. Neutral. Also. If I start to rub them against each other, I will find that the part that I rub the balloon in it, some electrons. Of course, we know from before that the electrons are the part of the atom or are the particles that are freely mobile. They can leave their orbit. Yes, they are freely mobile, not like the protons or the neutrons. So if I start rubbing or if I start the friction of the balloon, I will find that the area that I rubbed on my sleeves will the electrons in this area will pass to the to the balloon now my sleeves will lose or all losing or losing electrons so my sleeves become positively charged or negatively charged when they lose electrons they become positive or negative my sleeves positive. they become positive. positive excellent while the balloon which is the one that gained the electrons the balloon which is the one that gained the electrons it will be positive or negative it will be negative. negative excellent now if i take this part of the balloon which become negatively charged and i will put it uh, say on any object on a, a tissue it will, the negative charges in the balloon, the tissue is neutral, still neutral. It has positive and negative. But the negative charges in the balloon, this is a charged object. It becomes a charged object. The negative charges in the balloon will attract the positive charges in the tissue. So they will attract each other. So if we do this experiment, and I did it for you already, 
and I will show it to you now in a video. If we see this, we will found that now the balloon is negatively charged, becomes negatively charged, it will attract the positive charges in the, in the tissue. Also, if I put it inside my hair like this girl, when she puts it on her hair, it will attract her hair and stick to it. Because at first, when she rubbed it, let's take part by part. Let's try together. The balloon is positive, negative, or not charged? Huh? Who can answer? Positively charged, negatively charged, or not charged? Is it at first, before anything, at first? We didn't do anything. This is in the beginning of the experiment. It's positive, negative, or not charged? Hmm. Can I answer? Can I try? Yes, yes, not charged. Can I answer? Yes, please, why? Neutral. Neutral, yes, not charged. It's not, not charged. charged. Yes. The balloon attracts or repels or neither attracts or repels the girl's hair if we try now while it's neutral. Neither. Neither. Excellent. Neither, neither attracts attract, or repels nor, nor the girl's hair. Then the girl will start to rub. The balloon allows this rubbing, as I told you, it will allow more electrons to move on the balloons. Now the electrons from the sleeves of the girl will pass to the balloon. Then the balloon now is positively charged or negatively charged? Negatively. Negatively charged. Excellent. I will put this area. Take care. It's just this area. The area that it was rubbed, okay, will be negatively charged. Yes. Like, what about yes. the positive or negative charges in the girl's hair and now attracted to the negative charges on the balloon? These negative charges on the balloon will attract which charge on the girl's hair? Hmm. The, the positive. positive, of course. If I hear henna negative charges in the balloon, will attract the positive charges in the girl's hair. Take care. When I start to build charges on a, a, a on a neutral object by rubbing like this, this is called static electricity. This is called what? Static electricity. So what is the meaning of static electricity? Static electricity means the build up of charges on an object the build up of charges on an object. This object at first was neutral, nothing on it. it not nothing yet. This means that the positive charge is equal to its negative charge. So I want it to, be, to, to build a charge on it, to make electricity, to make interaction. So building of these charges on an object is called what? Static electricity. It's called what? Static electricity. For example, we have several methods, by the way. We have several methods for static electricity or to build the static electricity, like uh, friction, uh, conduction, induction, and polarization. We will learn them later. But uh, our example is about friction or rubbing. When uh, rubbing occurs for this balloon, the area of the balloon will gain electrons from the sleeves. So this area now will be negatively charged. So it will cause electric interaction. It will have electric force. It will have a force of attraction to the positive charges on the, on the girl's head. That's why it's named electricity. But what about its name is static? Why it's named static? Why it's a static electricity? Electricity, we know that we build charge. We build a charge on it. This charge will cause interaction, force of attraction or repulsion. But what about static? Why it's named static? for two reasons. It's a static because, because it's not continuous. It doesn't continue flow. for a long time. Excellent. It's, it, it doesn't flow continuously like the electric current. You know the electric current? The electric current has electric charges that flow continuously all the time. It's flowing. But this static electricity is flowing for just moments. Then it will stop. It will be uh, discharged again. And also it's limited to certain area. It's limited to certain area. The area of rubbing is only the area that will gain electrons, is only the area that will have charge, that will interact, okay? That's why it's named static electricity because the charges or the electric charges are not flowing continuously and they are limited to certain area. Okay, girls, now I will let you watch a video. Okay. Uh, please, if the meeting finished, rejoin again, okay? Okay. Can you see the video now?
Oh yeah, I can see it. Okay, okay, stop. You want to see a really cool trick? Watch this. I'll take this balloon, rub it on my shirt, and gently place it on the wall. And ta-da! It sticks to the wall. Thank you very much. This balloon sticking trick might seem like magic, but it's not at all. The balloon sticks to the wall because of something called static electricity. And static electricity isn't magic, it's science. Do you want to know how I made the balloon stick? Let's start by talking about opposite. I bet you already know some words that are opposites. Like the opposite of day is, that's right, sweets, night. And the opposite of up is, right again, down. Well, meet two new opposites. The names of these opposites are positive and negative. And they're special because they attract each other. That means that they pull on one another. If you've ever played with magnets, then you've already experienced things that attract. When I line up two magnets just so, they pull on or attract each other. In fact, when I move them even closer together, they attract each other so much that they stick, just like the balloon stuck to the wall. But I didn't see any magnets on my balloon, and that's because there aren't any. The balloon, the wall, and everything else in the universe is made of tiny little particles. These particles are way too small for us to see. And some of these particles are positive, and some of these particles are negative. They're opposites. And guess what? Positive particles and negative particles attract each other. They pull on each other just like the magnets did. Let's look at my balloon a little more closely. Most of the time, there's about the same number of positive and negative particles in any object that you can think of, like my balloon or my shirt. But when I rub the balloon on my shirt, the balloon takes some of the negative particles from the shirt. Now the balloon has extra negative particles. And when there's an imbalance of positive and negative particles and things, like when the balloon has more negative particles than positive ones, it's said to create static electricity. And when I put the balloon next to the wall, those extra negative particles are attracted to the positive particles in the wall. And the balloon sticks to the wall, at least for a while. Anytime two different things rub together, 